Shout out to my brother Jeff from Dream Chaser Boxing. He sent me this uh, in the uh, group text. Billy Joe Saunders is probably the biggest piece of shit in boxing. And that's saying a lot considering what we saw last night. Um, for him to have the, the balls to call out Amir Khan tells you a lot about who he is. And, you know, shout out to the brother 78 Sports TV. He called Billy Ho what Billy Ho was a very long time ago. And Billy Ho is a fraud at the middleweight division. And for him to call out uh, Amir Khan, it shows a level of disrespect for not only his fan base. It's a level of disrespect for the W to the WBO. It's a level of disrespect for just middleweights who have come before him and has and has held that title and who fight in that division currently right now. You have got see, this is why I, I'm so tired, sick and tired of, of these promoters and these um big businessmen allowing these guys because if they have the bigger pockets they're able to buy their fighters stalls and keeping belts when they don't really fucking deserve them Billy Joe Saunders has called out Amir Khan and would love to make the fight with Amir Khan that's right this ain't Genghis Khan not King Kong Amir Khan a fighter who's really 140 pounds at best all right you have got to be out of your mind. Anybody who co-signs this from Billy Ho Saunders is, is not a boxing fan, does not understand the sport, doesn't understand that size makes a difference to, I mean, when it's that drastic. You cannot take a little man, bring him up to middleweight, and expect it to be a competitive fight. That's absolutely asinine. For anybody to make any justifications for what Billy Ho Saunders is doing right now. Amir Khan is desperate right now for a fight. And they know that. And Amir Khan has machismo balls. I will give him that. So they know that that's a fight they can lure him in. Because if Amir Khan takes another L, what can he say? Oh, well, I challenged the middleweight. I can go back down. That's a common tactic. Kell Brook used that tactic when he fought uh, Gennady Golovkin. He knew he wasn't going to beat Gennady Golovkin. You know what? I'm going to be honest. If you're a Billy Ho Saunders fan, you need to be uh, tweeting him or whatever social media outlet you can. And you need to tell him how disappointed you are in him. What happened to the whole, you're willing to challenge the Gennady Golovkin or, or Triple G? I mean, Triple G or Canelo Alvarez. What happened to that? You were going to try to chase down a fight. Or you going to move up, apparently, to 168. I know why. Because your fat ass wants to eat. You look like garbage against Willie Monroe. You had about five, five punches that made any sort of difference in that fight. Willie Monroe had no fucking heart and he was there for the taking and you, this is the best Billy Ho Saunders you got. You use stupid ass tactics like putting your child at risk and at weigh-ins, having him be disrespectful to people. You are trash, Billy Ho Saunders. You're bu you, you do not deserve to have the title. Please, you know what, I, you know what, check that. Danny Jacobs need to start pre pressing to get Billy Ho in the ring. That's right. Let Danny Jacobs knock his ass off. That way, Danny Jacobs can't be denied. He's got to fight. I can't stand Billy Ho Saunders. Can't stand his ass.